Lakers down to four on the shot clock to Caldwell Pope. Missed that one. His coach cannot be a happy camper. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. LeBron into the front court. Leads just a point. To the rim. Lays it up and in. Now a whistle, and Toronto's going to use a timeout as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. DeRozan, wide open look, won't go. And let's bring it back to the fundamentals here. You have to follow through on that, not a slingshot. Ball to James. Beyond the arc for three. That's what the king does. James, the quick catch and shoot there for three. This is a game of ways. As a defense, you have to recognize that they come and they go. That will not be the case all the time moving forward. Lowry to Valanchunas. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. Oh, I like that. You got the defense rotating from side to side. They're even recovering late, but still, you got to make that one. Stops it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now, look how easy the game is coming to him. DeRozan to Lowry. 4 3. Not that time. Over, gets inside, and the slam dunk. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. DeRozan to Lowry. DeRozan to Valanchunas. Oh, nice find for the basket. I don't know what the point of you having a scouting report is if you don't utilize it. You're allowing him to get to positions on the floor where you know he feels most comfortable. Make it a challenge for him by making him do something uncomfortable. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. Deep three at the buzzer. We've reached halftime here in game four. Let's get you to Orlando where we say hello to Jalen Rose in our EA Sports halftime report. Jalen. has been amazing and it doesn't look to be slowed anytime soon they've been providing no shortage of highlights these are the guys getting buckets for the los angeles lakers the raptors are down at halftime and in need of some momentum of course they still have two quarters to turn things around but it won't happen without making some adjustments Have a look at the leading scores for the Toronto Raptors. Game track. Points in the paint. The Toronto Raptors are in a situation where if I was the coach of the team, I'd hope they'd be insulted by the way they gave up points in the paint. Going into the second half, these guys really need to have some pride and be more assertive around the basket defensively. Let's see if they can learn from the mistakes they made, particularly. Player of the half. The chosen one has already put together a pretty nice highlight reel for himself, and that's just after one half of basketball. He did a lot of scoring, and it probably won't stop anytime soon. Oh. 
Oh. No one wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. DeRozan to Lowry. Surveys the floor. Lays it up and in. Lowry's been an all-star four straight years, but I got a real question. Who is Kyle Lowry? Right now, he seems like a serviceable guard. In order for Kyle Lowry to be the guy that Kyle Lowry knows he can be, it's time to take that game to another level, my man. To Ibaka. The pass taken away by the Lakers. James into the front court. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. Inside, he scores. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. DeRozan. DeRozan with a shot, no good. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. Curling inside, stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big-time finish. Ball controlled by Kyle Lowry. The screen sets him up for two. Some players are just built to absorb the contact. He pretty much dusted that defender off like that was a bug at the park. James to ball. Deep two there, won't go. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like the mere presence of him in the paint was enough to throw up the concentration of the guy trying to drop the layup in. Shot by Ananobi, no good. To James. Great look and vision. Kyle Kuzma buries the wide open three. That's too easy. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. That's blocked by Zaza. That kid can block out the sun, man. Shot from the lane, won't go. Los Angeles, they have it. Stuffs it down with authority. This is why I go back into player mode. If the dude starts to try to have 40 points on me, I'm going to foul out. I'm going to start hitting him in places he's not used to being hit. I'm trying to do anything to throw him off his game. Screen coming. Spinning shot, won't fall. LeBron into the front court. His guy's up by 15. A lot of contact, no whistle. Lowry into the front court. Down by 15. Lowry gets it to go. Coach cannot be happy with that closeout. I know the refs on the court all the time, but it doesn't mean they can see every play. Maybe defensively grab his jersey, step on his toe, do something to kind of change up his pace. Runners good there. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. 
DeRozan to Lowry. DeRozan knocks it down from mid-range. The reality is no one can guard a player at his level one-on-one. -on -one. The help defense needs to be shown, and he needs to see a series of obstacles instead of just one individual. To Ball. Goes to the right side. To James. Stops it down with authority. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. And a chance at three coming up. Huh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref's bit, and that's the game. One free throw good, so he converts on the three-point play. And the lead down to 11. It's James controlling the offense. Over to the right side. To James. Deep right corner to James. Leaving no doubt, slams it down. This offseason, I heard so many voices, even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal, talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy. Well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy, and that's to be the greatest of all time. LeBron with it up top. Final minute to play in this third quarter. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Free throw's good as they continue to widen their lead. It's DeRozan controlling the offense. Somehow finds a way to get it to go. Can't fault the D. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. Ah, the monster stuff. Man, they are just continuing to pull it on. But the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Trying to cash in? He had all day and all night to knock that one down. Need to hear more chatter on the defensive end. DeMar DeRozan is a beast. He's been an all-star for the last five years, and he was a second-team All-NBA last year. But unfortunately, us as part of the media and the fans, we determine your legacy by you winning championships. He's still chasing you. Has a look. Just not going down. It's easy. Four skies and two low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Gets off the three. At the buzzer. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Lakers ball. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. To DeRozan. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. And DeMar DeRozan, zero hesitation, pulls the trigger on the three. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. 
James. Now you practice leads to that. Nice pump fake. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Ibaka buries it on the catch and shoot. Lakers at the controls right now. To James. Shot clock winding down. Gets it in the right corner. From long range.